we're going to be working with the kidney system. So firstly, what's really good to do before we do any other practice around, based around nourishing the kidneys is it's really great to give them a little bit of a clean up or a clear out. And we use what's called a discharging method in Qigong to do that. So to discharge waste qi or waste energy from the body just means to get rid of anything that's stagnant in the area. It can be in the whole body, it can be in a specific area of the body or an organ system. But discharging methods generally involve getting rid of anything that you don't want before you then bring in anything qi-wise which is going to be of nourishment to you. So this exercise is part of a classical exercise called the six healing sounds and we're going to work with the sound that is to do with the kidney and this sound helps the vibration of the sound helps to rid or, or get expel any waste chi that may be lodged in the kidney system and the kidney organs themselves we're going to work with movement breath and mind which are the three elements of qigong so I'm going to show you the movement first. Check that you're in a standing position. You can also actually perform this from a seated position if you prefer, but classically speaking, it's performed from a standing. If you find you get a little bit tired from standing for too long though, please adapt this method accordingly. Looking down at your feet and checking that they are hip width distance apart, the knees also hip width distance apart, toes are pointing forwards, and making sure that the sacrum area, the tailbone is moving down. So you're not um, creating too much of a curve in your lower back. You're looking to open up the lower back. So moving and, and even taking your hands behind you and actually moving and moving your hands down the back of the body. I'll show you. Just smoothing out and moving down the back of the body, down the lower back. Okay, shake out the arms. Check that the shoulders are well away from the ears. And then check that the chin is not sticking out. You want the chin to be gently lowered and then pulled back towards the throat. And then feeling this lovely extension up the back of the neck. Close the mouth and bring a smile to the corners of your mouth. And the movement for this six healing sounds, uh, six, uh, one of the six healing sounds, the movement for this sound is this. So very gently, with your arms so relaxed, lift them up towards shoulder level. And then very gently turn to one side and let the arms drop down. And as you do that, looking down towards the heel on that side. Lift up the hands as you come back to the centre, turning in the waist and dropping the hands down. So you see how loose and floppy my hands are, bending in the elbows. So nothing like this. <laughs> this is too tense. Okay, very loose and relaxed. The wrists are loose, the elbows are loose. So just practice that movement a little bit for yourself. Really thinking of being smooth and flowing. So also at the end of this movement, we're not stopping here and then starting again, but rather as you come to the end of the movement, draw a little circle almost and come back up. So keep it flowing. And you'll see also, if you're standing, what you can do is bend in the knees as you turn to the side. And then as you come back to the center, just pop up in the knees a little bit, but not straightening and locking out the legs altogether. So your knees are like springs. Again, very soft and loose, but also giving you great support. So this is the movement. Now to bring in the breath, we breathe in as the arms come up and breathe out the arms come down. Breathing out, breathing in, breathing out, breathing in. 
Breathing out to the side, into the centre. Out to the side, into the centre. The breathing is in and out through your nose. So the speed at which you perform this movement is really matched to a comfortable breathing speed for you. So that will be different for everyone. And now just have a little rest, placing the hands back down by your sides. The third element of your mind is really working around the kidney system, that's our focus today. And what I'm going to ask you to do now, just as you are standing or sitting there, is closing your eyes and just focus on your kidneys. Think about the kidneys in the lower back. And think about any waste chi that you may be holding in the kidney area. Sometimes this can actually manifest as a symptom of a kind of cold lower back ache or an, you know, an achiness, a pain, a tiredness, a weakness in the area. But you may not have that at all. Really we're just focusing on any waste chi that may be within the kidney system itself. And now opening the eyes. So we're going to match up the movement, the breath and the mind with the sound. And the sound which helps us to discharge waste chi from the kidneys is chui, chui. So we're going to use that sound now as we breathe out to the sides. So you are in this case going to use the mouth to exhale. Often in Qigong, nearly always, in fact, we breathe in and out through the nose. But when you're using sound, you obviously need to use the mouth to make the sound. So as you move to the side, you're going to use chui as the sound and that the frequency of that sound will help to dispel any waste chi from your kidney system, along with the breath and the focus of your mind. So now, closing the eyes, breathing in and out, using your nose, first of all, into the belly, and out. Inhaling and exhaling, using your abdominal breath. And now bring your mind to the kidney area in your lower back. And now gently open your eyes, staying in this lovely calm state, just so that you can see me. And when you're ready, take a breath in, lifting the hands. And as you breathe out, make the sound. Chui. 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 Tray, tray. Hands come up, and then as you breathe out, lower the hands back down by your sides. Close your eyes for a moment. Bring your mind back to your kidneys. Thinking of the kidneys being a little bit cleaner so that the chi, the blood and the fluid can move more freely through the kidney system to nourish the kidneys. 
and thereby improve your health. Now bringing your mind back to your abdominal breath. Place one hand over the lower belly with the other hand directly on top of that. Breathing in, feel the belly expand. Breathing out, feeling the belly deflate. And giving your belly a little massage circling firstly in one direction and then in the other. Allow your hands to drop down by your sides and open your eyes. So that's a really quick and easy method in order to clean out your kidney system before going ahead with any kidney nourishing practices. So it's a bit like um, you really wouldn't, if you had a glass of water, of muddy water, you wouldn't um, want to put clean water into that glass and then drink it. You'd want to wash the glass first, make sure it was clean before you put fresh water in. It's the same with chi. So you want to get rid of any of the waste chi, the sick chi first, before you then put lovely clean chi back into your body in order to nourish it.